today I just had to fix a thread on a stone step that was busted and then I just patched it up I'm gonna show you how I did it now today's job we got this stone it's loose here see it it's fallen off this one's good this one's good and this over here is kind of broken so we're gonna see what we can do about that so first thing is why did they put these little thin stones on right we're gonna figure that out let's go across the street I'll show you now here's the way they did things in the old school days this is probably done during the depression they put these huge stones in and instead of the guy ripping the stones out he just puts little stones on top to fix it so that's why they do that okay so we're gonna get this off of here and I'm gonna see cut a stone and I want to see if that stone going to fit. Well I got a stone and it's about the best stone I could find. It's not the right color but it's the right thickness and it's new school. It's thermal faced and here's an old stone for a place around the railing. So I'm going to cut this one first. Alright, so I'm going to cut this one first. Because it's the wrong color, I'm matching the old stuff. I got some dirt from my dad's garden, and I'm gonna use the old mud trick. That's gonna disguise that like that. I'm gonna sink in there and dirty that stone a little bit before I lay it. This one, it's a little bit off. Oh, so I'm going to see if I can rock face it a little bit. Yeah, it looks better than it was. And let's see on this side. I won't know until I get there. And I rock face that. Same thing. A little mud on the face of it. And then we'll go let that sink in and wipe it off later. Okay. That stone's going to fit in there perfect. Just like a dentist, I'm going to get off all the loose stuff. See all the loose stuff? It ain't loose. We're not going to bother it. You only go so far with this, you like a dentist. Okay. That's as far as we're going. We got this issue up at top. See what they did here? Get some of that off of there. Let me slop all that up. We don't need that. See what they did there. Don't bother it. Let's see if this fits. Nope, I gotta thin it out. It'll fit that way. I have to cut it up some more. Okay, 
Okay, we got everything laid out dry. Probably gonna put it back exactly why it was. Can't do much about that. And I got this all fi fixed up. Laid out. I'm gonna mix the cement now. I'm gonna use this fast set, fast set repair mortar. I did a video on that. I'm happy with it. You don't have to do anything with this stuff, you just add the water. Mix it up. It's a big project and a big deal out of it. Pretty good. It's about just where I want it. Like I told you, gotta wet it first. If you want it to stick, gotta wet it first. Now, let's put it in there. A little stiff, but alright. No worries. This side, we're gonna keep it thin. Like I told you, just wet the back of the stone. That's what's going to make it stick. Just like that. And put it in. Just about like that. You want to put a level on it. Make sure we got a little pitch. So the water goes off. You can put a big pitch on this one. You can put a big pitch on that one. But we gotta put a big pitch on it. And that's it. It's in. No big deal. And before the cement gets too hard, same thing. We get in here, wet this up, just like that. All that stuff off of it. Behind it, wet it. Anywhere the cement's gonna go, you just wet it. Cement's starting to get hard already. We gotta work fast. What we wanna do, we wanna kind of push it in. Push it into those nooks and crannies. See that? Up in there. You know, you'll make a big project out of it. Just do it. Push it up. Those nicks and crannies, just like that. It's going to make it stick. Now we got the stone right here. Do the back and the bottom where we're going to put it in. Where's the bottom? The bottom is over here. I forgot how it went in. Like that. Okay, that's the bottom. Then you want to plaster the back a little bit. That's just gonna make it stick. Just like that. Smith's getting hard, I gotta work fast. You gotta work fast. Let's do the bottom. Put it in. Shake it in there, see that? That ain't coming out. When you want, usually in stone work, you don't do it this way, because you don't have to. But if you want something to really, really stick, then you gotta do it this way. All right, different, different. Here we go, look at that. Perfect. So we got that in there. Now I want to get behind it a little bit. Get that stuff down in there. So it stays. Okay. I'm going to push it down in there in the back. That's going against the iron railing. So this is all screen. You see the old screen? That don't last either. We're just gonna plaster it up. I wet it already. I'm gonna plaster this up. Just to make it look a little better. 
than it was. Now we're gonna do the same thing. Might as well fix them all up. We're here, right? Wet it up. Same thing. Plaster it up a little bit. I'm getting done. Got a little cement left, so I might as well just patch these little holes up. Make it look a little better. Well, kind of plaster that all up a little bit. Going over here. Uh, don't want to leave it bad. I want to leave it half decent. So. Filled in some of the holes over here just to make it look better. That's it, I'm finishing up now. So I patched up on the side of the wall here. Remember, I told you about the mud trick. Anytime you're doing new cement work on an old stone wall, just use the mud trick. You put a little mud in there. And that's going to keep that from looking blinky. You know, like a big spotlight. That's all. They don't even know you're here. The mud trick. The Indian trick, I used to call it. The mud trick. And that's going to look like it's been there forever. So, okay, we got it all done. Uh, I'm going to let it sit for uh, a couple hours and then it should all dry up and you could use it. So I'm going to talk about that job a little bit. Uh, in our area, there's a lot of elderly people, and usually something's wrong in, in the spring. You know, they throw the salt on it, they got the snow shovels, the ice chippers. So a little piece of stone like that broke apart. Well, I'm not going to go in there and rip the whole thing out. They just want it patched and fixed. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Just like when you take a car to get an inspection, just do what you got to do. A lot of people don't want these big projects going on. In the old days when they were putting in the sores in our town, they were dynamiting as they went and they take all that rock and that's what they were building those walls out of. They took the best ones and they made the steps out of them. So what happened in this case is the steps went bad over the years. You know, they sunk or they tipped and they just got a little cap to put on it, an inch, inch and a quarter, inch and a half stone. You know, uh, and these quarries anymore, at one time when you wanted a stone like that, you'd have to call up and say, I need an inch and a half stone. They'd say, well, you have to wait until I get to that seam. Now they just saw it out. As you can see, it's snowing. That's why I'm doing videos today. And then I just painted it with mud, you know, uh, the bad spots. Fast drying cement, you know, it's great going up and down in cold weather. Not too happy about it like plastering. I think I should have put a little more Portland in it. When I was plastering the steps up, but uh, as the it's March already, so we'll see as we go. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.